Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since my last upload. With the new pack releasing to Master Duel, we now have Vises Samsara, the missing or the missing piece for the full power Manadium. The deck that we're going to be showcasing today is the full power Manadium. And to be honest, I think my version of the Manadium is really, really interesting. And I'll explain all of that later in the deck list. But for now, let's do some duels. I'll see you guys in a bit. And again, we don't have Maxi going second, but we keep having Maxi going first. This is a good hand, though. This is a really good hand. Going first, that is. Going second, we do want to have that Forbidden Droplet or Called by the Grave. Definitely not the Crossout Designator. The Crossout is a card that you want to draw going first and definitely not going second. So this is going to be extremely frustrating or whatever. Oh. Okay, uh, I might need my red reboot. <laughs> please, please, red reboot, please, please, red reboot, please, 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 please give me red reboot right here. I mean, we drew a call by. I don't know what we're gonna do with that call by though. If this is imperm, that would be great. Maxi, uh, I'm sorry, but we're, uh, we're, we're gonna have to ash that. Is this a labyrinth? Oh, it's a labyrinth, isn't it? Okay. I guess I should just fall by the grave. Or cross out instead of... Yeah, that's a misplay. I shouldn't... I have two cards that I can use against a labyrinth. I mean, against a maxi. And I throw away my single card. Play around labyrinth stuff. That sucks. That absolutely sucks. Bro, where's my droplet? What the fuck? Where's my droplet? An imperm. What the heck is this? Bro, I don't know what we're gonna do with this. But let's just see what happens. I do have I do have a rival. We did use one right part. The Rex with the Rex term coming out. Okay, I think this is pretty much winnable. I don't even I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but like heart right heart is still within our life points. I mean our enemies' life points, so a special summon right card here. I shall summon another one. Activate our field spell here. Destroy the Rex Term. Easy. Activate Call by the Grave. Call by that piece of shit. Alright, we activate Vista Star Frost. We destroy our Light Heart. And then we make a Baron from here. Don't use Arrival. Bro, 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 bro. Please don't tell me you have the Daruma Cannon thing. Okay, that's good. That is good. That is good. Um, hmm. Okay, since we're gonna have Amritara anyway, might as well just go do this. Flicker Summon, Vista Star Frost, and one of the right cards. We go Baron de Fleur. I wanna force something out here. I wanna force whatever this thing is. Let's force this out. We have to negate that. Whatever that is, we have to negate it. Okay, so this thing is not responding. Whatever this thing is. It's only that card. Ooh! Ooh! 
<laughs> GG's, man, GG's. Later that same evening. Oh, uh, I really hate this meta, man. It's a hand trap war. And we have nothing against Maxi. Perfect. Anyway, uh, activate this. Doesn't matter, they're gonna Maxi anyway. Or not. Uh, let's activate Galarium, bait out anything. No, nothing. Alright. If this is Star Frost in the field. I'm sorry if my energy just dropped, man. I, I've been playing for a little over an hour now, and I just keep getting maxied and typing bro bullshit. Almost summon room heart. We just get the reframing here. That uh, special summon meek. Activate Vista Starfrost. Destroy the meek. This is the full combo. Activate meek. Don't activate the Colarium. Just yet. No need to change it just yet. This is, I believe, one, two, three, and then four. So fifth summon will be Baron de Fleur. This is the main combo line, by the way. It's, it's really good. Get Baron in the field. Uh, we get Vicious Astralow by banishing Vicious Star Frost and the Room Heart. Oh, crap. I uh, misplaced, but it's fine. Activate Vicious Astral Loud, destroy Meek, and now we activate Polarium alongside the Meek, of course. Get the Meek, put the Meek all the way to the other side, then put this Meek here. And now we synchro these two into Crimson Dragon. Activate Crimson Dragon, we get the Synchro Rumble. Next, we activate Crimson Dragon again and target Barone. Get a Dispatter or Dispater. Activate Dispater. We get our Vista Star Frost. Special Summon. Link that into Scareclaw Lightheart. Nice, nice, nice. Everything is going pretty damn well. Please just don't be. Another <laughs> lava golem bullshit. Okay, very nice. We activate the rag phobia. Get the right heart. Air claw rival. And we draw another card. Nice. Alright, so from here, we synchro this meat. And the right heart into Trisokta. We get Trisokta back. Get the Meek. Synchro into Amritara. Trisokta and the Meek into Amritara. We get another Scarec Law since we already have a framing in our hand. We didn't even get to use Samsara. Because Samsara is such a good starter and a good uh, extender. So in case we didn't draw or we didn't draw the reframing, we can get reframing here and we can still extend with some Sarah. It's just really good. Activate Amritara. Get the other uh, arrival. Alright, so from here, our goal is to get Appaloosa and then another Synchro 10 or 12 Crimson Dragon. Activate arrival or you can activate some Sarah, but I want to activate arrival here. Just in case we don't have some Sarah. Just to show you guys, it is possible even without some Sarah, or even without one of the rival. It's it's fine. This is searchable. This is searchable, and this is not searchable. So even without some Sarah, it's still a full combo. It doesn't matter that much. It changes the end board a little bit, but I think it's just equally as strong. All right, so from here we go cross sheep. We use these two. Now we activate a uh, light heart in the grave. Special summon itself. Cross sheep activate, boost the attack of all our monsters. We can actually go for another one. We get, let's see, let's go do this. This is a four material Appaloosa. We get Scarecrow Light, uh, right heart again. Go into Appaloosa. Active using all of these as material. This is a four negate Appaloosa. That's crazy, man. That's just insane. And. Watch as we get Lava Golem. But this is the next play. Uh, we can do a couple of things here. We can go Ice Jade by um, summoning another 
which is Astro Loud, and then Synchro Rumble the Meek. And then we can go Ice Shade. But I don't want to use my Vicious Astro Loud, my last one, if possible, at least. So what I tend to do is activate this or special or activate the um the arrival to get another one. Basically, I go for Crimson Dragon instead of the Ice Shade. Activate Synchro Rumble. We get the Vicious Amritara. There's a couple of end boards that you can end with in, with this deck. It's just up to your preference, and I just love to have options, different options, depending on the situation. And with the hand that we had, it's just really, really good. And he didn't have any hand traps, so we were uninterrupted. We even have Droplet. We have even have Red Reboot. We can end our turn here. Turn this on. Activate Crimson Dragon. Target the Spader or the Baron de Fleur. And please don't be a Super Poly. Nice. We got our Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. That is a spell in Trap Negate, by the way. I mean, that is the most notable one when it comes to its effects. But it also has a protection for itself alone. Whenever a monster activates, opponent monster activates, you can activate this and it is unaffected by opponents. Monster effect. Activated. Monster effect. Monster reborn. What? I mean, depending on who he summons, I think it's fine. Cross sheep. Yeah, I think that's fine. You can go summon your cross sheep. My cross sheep. Monster reborn. That's... Okay. Cross sheep. I wonder what... Why is this? Mirror sword knight. Bro, just take a look at this. <laughs> Let's activate all of this. <laughs> all of them just popped up, bro. <laughs> That's one negate down from me. We still have reframing. We have crystal wing. All by the grave. Where are you gonna fall by? I like art. I, mean, I don't really. I don't. I don't really mind. I'm not gonna use my. I'm not gonna summon another light heart. Battle fate. What? Oh, he's giving up. This guy's giving up. Unless you evenly ma. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> I have a red reboot, bro. <laughs> I'm so. Finally. Finally. We're the ones. <laughs> we're the ones who's getting the better end. Of the stick, the like the longer, whatever, man, whatever that saying is. We're not the ones getting the shorter end of the stick, basically. Lightning storm. Wow, that is a lot of stuff, man. That is a lot of stuff. Do I wanna? Yeah, basically the GG. <laughs> There's a lot of board breakers, but this hand is our hand. No hand traps. Yeah, that is the full play of my uh version of the Manadium deck. Insane, man. Insane. All right, so here's my deck list for the Medadium. As you can see here, it's version two because my first version, if you haven't watched it, and it doesn't have some Sarah and stuff because some Sarah is well a new card. So yeah, going over the deck list one by one, we got three Maxi because Maxi is just brain dead and broken. Uh, we got three Meek, three Ash Blossom, three Rikeheart, three Roomheart, and three some Sarah. Yes, three of all the level four monsters. Uh, we got two Vista Star Frost. I only need two because I have a lot of ways to search uh, Vista Star Frost. We got Nibiru as a hand trap, but mainly as a target for cross out. We got one Reinforcement of the Army, two Scarecrow Arrival, one Manadium Imaginings, one Manadium Obsession. You only really need one because you can just search this off with Room Heart if necessary. One Synchro Rumble, just a really, really good card. I also use this for my Synchron deck, my Adventure Synchron, the Calamity version. We got two Primitive Planet Rekovia, uh, one Perlerino, three Calarium, two Call by the Grave, one Crossout Designated, just mainly to stop Maxi and to stop Nibiru, three Forbidden Droplets, and two Red Reboot. Also one Manager Reframing. I like Red Reboot a lot. It's just really good against those decks that rely on trap cards. Mainly Labyrinth, because more than the Snake Eyes, I hate Labyrinth and I hate Rescue Ace. Basically, I hate trap based decks. That's why I put Red Reboot. Moving on to the extra deck. We got two Vicious Astraloud, one Trisukta, one Amritara, one Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, one Baron de Fleur, one Cheng Ying, 
one Adrian Ice Jade, one Bestial Dispater, Dispatter, one Chaos Angel, one Crimson Dragon, insanely good, two Scareclaw Lightheart, also insanely good, one Cross Sheep, another card that's insanely good, and last but not least, we got Appaloosa. Now for my version, I went for a more synchro based deck i just love playing synchros i want to have more options for the level 10 if you use ice jade you're gonna have to use two of your vicious astral out and if ever that happens uh, going into your turn probably turn three so i really like having extra synchros level 10 because it's so easy you can activate the spader is the spader when there is ice jade is always going to be protected also there's reframing and stuff and then you can go into case angel or you can go into cheng ying cheng ying is also really good if the opponent is untargetable Changing is better because you have reframing and activate reframing during your turn, get back the Meeks, and then banish this card. And with the banishment, Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign is gonna activate its effect and gonna banish cards in the field and in their graveyard. Yeah, but mainly I don't want to use Vicious Astralot because it's just a really good card going second as well. Summon this, destroy monster in their field and OTK and stuff like that. So yeah, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And what changes are you going to make if you were to use this deck? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, please don't forget to leave a like. Last but not least, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing more content in the future. Yu-Gi-Oh! or other games that I might be interested in playing. I do hope you all stay tuned for that. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.